guys, what's up? It's me, Lena here, and I'm back with the backstage review. Tonight it came on, and a lot of stuff went down, and then the next time this ep the show is going to be coming on to April 29th when Stephanie Miller comes on. So it's going to be on like on a little, little hiatus. It's going to be on a two-week hiatus. Never going for two weeks, which is really sad. Like, no, I need to watch this. Like, it's my show. But let's get on to the episode. So it started off with the uh, Primas was dancing in all blue, which is really pretty. And they was doing their thing. You know, Vanessa was cleaning the mirrors. But then one of the Primas got sick. And, you know, she was like, she had to go run out and go and go. So then, you know, Vanessa's like, what happened? So then Cassandra was like, what's wrong with you? You're supposed to be cleaning up mirrors and stuff. So she was getting all mean and stuff. So then Vanessa was like, oh, I just want to know. So then she was like, well, if you want the girl's part, you're going to have to learn this dance by tonight or today or you're not going to get in. So now it's crunch time for her. So then Miles was playing real good and Mr. Park was having a class, playing along to this song. And so he was like, well, now y'all got to individually do this song to, by yourself and show y'all true artistry. So then it was like, you know, you can change it up. So then Bianca was like, well, isn't that plagiarism? So then he was like, well, no, because you can just do it, make it your own. Like how rappers rap over souls and how, you know, other people do other stuff and like plagiarize the whole thing, but nobody even pays attention to it. Basically, yeah. So then, you know, Miles was like, well, I'm going to make this song punk rockish. And then my, uh, Jax was like, I'm going to, you know, remix it because I'm a DJ. You can do a lot. It's not a lot of singers and song Like, these more DJs are now like singers and songwriters, basically, because they making songs now. Like, it used to be like just remixes. They making full-fledged, no music, noise, and everything. Like, it's like, oh, my God. Like, they taking over. DJs have taken over this whole scene, the music scene. It's not like, oh, this part of singer and then, like, featuring. It's like this part, the DJ, then featuring the singer. You know what I'm saying? So DJs are main, main artists now. So... Then, you know, Aaliyah was like, I'm just going to make the whole show raw, the whole song raw, and bring it down. So then he was like, Bianca, what you got? So then she was like, oh my god, a few ideas. But then she was like, oh my god, this is going to be so, so hard. So then she was trying to do her song, and then she was like, Ugh. she was like having a hard time. So then she went over to Miles, trying to swoon him, telling him to be talented and stuff. So he was like, oh no, I'm having this hard time too. So then his confessional, he was like, does Bianca need my help? Yeah. It, will she help anybody else? No. So then Vanessa was like, guess what? And Jen was like, oh my god, Zane's coming back to One Direction? And she's like, no. Hmm. But I think Zane's doing a good job now. So then she was like, no. She's like, I need your help with this. And Jen was like, oh no, I got to do this. So then she asked Sasha. And she was like, oh, Sasha was like, no, I got to go host a group. So then Carly saw her. So then Vanessa was trying to do her dance moves. So then Carly came in and she was like, you need help. And Vanessa was like, no, I got it. But then she was like, yes, I need your help. So then Carly was like, you should have just asked me if you needed my help. So then Carly was helping her and stuff. So then Vanessa was like, I don't know why. She just can't get it right. So then Carly was like, you got perfect technique. It's just a memory game. So then she was like, anytime we ever crammed, we always do something like silly. So then Carly started being like a monkey, so she started being a monkey. So then she was like, Vanessa, don't think, just dance. So then she started dancing, and she did really good, but then she had the bubble guts. Oh my gosh, she started getting sick. So Carly was like, didn't you get this part because uh, another girl got sick? So now everybody's getting sick. I don't even know how they're getting sick because the pre other premiers aren't sick, so I don't know how that's going on. But then Julie was telling the freshman art class that she's going to pick one kid to mentor for the whole semester. So then Denzel was so excited. He was telling kid, oh my gosh, she's like the closest thing to Picasso. I love her so much and she's my idol and I want her to be mentored by him, mentored by her. So, you know, kid was like, I don't know what's the big deal. So then Denzel was like, it is. It's a really, really big deal. So he was like trying to, you know, boost himself up and do it. So then he was showing kid all his pictures that he was going to submit in. So she, she was like, they good, they good, they amazing. So he was like, it's not good enough. So he's like, maybe I need to go uphill to Julie's needs. So then he made a uh, like a paint called Victoriana, and it was like it looked like Julie because Julie had a cowgirl outfit on. So then she was like, um, yeah, kid, I like your work, but does this represent you, Denzel? So then he was like, um, I painted it, and she was like, well, it's kind of derivative. So then he was like, so sad. He's like, what? My eye, my the woman I, or the girl I always wanted to miss for me just kind of work derivative. That's sad. So he was all the way ready to leave Kenton, throwing all his stuff in the garbage, and was like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. No, no, no. So then, you know, Kit was like, you can't do this. You're still amazing. So he was like, I'm leaving. And he just left the garbage can there in front of his locker. He just left it there. So they went back to the art class. She picked a, a art person to mentor. So he was like so sad. He was so heartbroken. And Kit saw it. So then later... Kit showed Julie all his previous work, so she was like, this is amazing, you should have showed this. You gotta show Denzel's point of view of the world, not try to appeal to anybody else's needs. So he was like, you still gonna mentor me? And she's like, no, but you are talented and you are amazing. So he felt that that was really nice, and that was a whole good scene with them, and Kit helped him out really good. So now they can go get milkshakes, and he's gotta get his stuff out of the garbage. So, back to Vanessa. She 
was like sick and stuff so then she was like I gotta do it and then Carl was like no you gotta bail so then she was like no I can't do this so then she was like remember our ballet recital so then she Vanessa was like oh my god that's right your grandma made us a home remedy so Carla's grandma makes home remedies so she's like I need a home remedy I need to do I need to do it so then she drunk the home remedies like three whole slugs of it but then it was still wasn't working so then Carl she's like I just gotta drop out so then Carl was like no I got an idea so they went to go, she went to go dance, you know, she was doing this stuff. So they set up screens, Carly set up screens with like trash cans behind them so like she can go run behind and throw up. So they Vanessa started dancing, they was doing all good, they had the nice blue outfits on, they was doing really good. Then Vanessa had to go throw up again, so she went behind there, threw up, came back out, started dancing again, you know, doing good, flipping, doing flips and stuff. Then she had to go and throw up again, so then she came back out, she danced a little bit more, then that was the end. So then Cassandra was like, oh, for somebody that was throwing up and performing all the way through, you're a true royal and you deserve about respect. So then Vanessa was like, are we in? Am I in? And she's like, um, if we need a ringer, then you can come in. So then she's like, but it's laundry day. And I was like, dang it. They needed somebody. They should have just got Vanessa. Like, she's gonna have to replace somebody. Like, why they do that to her? Like, Jesus, she did good to perform it through a sickness, an illness. That's the true warriorship. So then Carly left. So then Vanessa met up with Carly. was like, why'd you leave? So then Carly was like, I thought maybe you wanted to spend time with them. So she's like, no, I want to spend time with you. So then Carly tried to hug her, but she's like, maybe when I'm not sick, we can hug. So that was really good. So hopefully she get to be you know, like a main prima, get to dance with them, and go do special stuff with them. So, but she really don't need them because she's special on her own. So then, you know, with Bianca, she was, like, walking around and stuff. So then Aaliyah was doing her song. Then Bianca's like, you sound like a Taylor Swift cover band. So then Aaliyah was like, thank you. And she's like, that was not a compliment. So then, you know, she was like, insulting me is not going to make you less scared. So then Bianca was like, I'm not scared. But then she was like, I just want people to think I'm a true artist. So then Aaliyah was like, just because you don't know how to do it does not mean you're not a true artist. So then she was like, the dumb song only got words. So then Aaliyah was like, it didn't make some. And then Bianca's like, oh my god, that's a good idea. So, you know, she was like, well, Aaliyah, you so good at this, you know, making it from scratch, maybe you can help me. So she's like, Aaliyah was like, what? Asking for my help? You was like, just dogging me out like last week. You're like, you gonna ask for my help? Like, okay. But anyway, so then Aaliyah was doing the song and stuff and helping. So Bianca had got her lyrics and then Aaliyah was playing. Aaliyah was helping her with the lyrics too. So Bianca's like, thanks, those lyrics are really cool and stuff. So then Aaliyah was like, you're a great lyricist. And then Aaliyah was like, I never would have thought to say this, but I like working with her. It's fun. So then Bianca was like, Aaliyah make me feel like I'm doing something right. So they was actually getting along, which was really good. But then... Bianca was at performing in Mesa Parks class and she performed her whole song. Everybody loved it. Then Miles was like, um, did you write that yourself? So then she, Bianca was like, yep. So then Aaliyah was like, what? So what do you mean I helped you with this? So then Bianca said on confessional, she was like, I'm teaching Aaliyah a valuable lesson. This is how the business goes and hopefully she learned from this or whatever. And I'm like, this is how the business goes. People take your stuff and not give you credit for it. That is. And I was like, that's just so sad. Like, Jesus. Mm-mm. She did her degree. So, the next time this episode's coming on, that was the end of this episode. The next time it's coming on, it's April 29th. Which next time, Stuck in Mills is coming on because it's going to be on a two-week hiatus. You know, this show's out two weeks. Like, dang, man, come on. I need some more backstage. But it's coming on on April 29th. So, we'll see what happens. It's still like the school year kicked in. And everybody's dropping off scars, having a hard time. He's throwing microphones, headphones. Kids having a hard time, but she's trying to sympathize with Scarlett. You know, it's crunch time on everybody having a hard time. The ballet teacher telling Carly, if you, why are you even here? Why is you here? If you want to go cry to your mama, go cry to your mama and leave. You don't need to be here no more. They digging into them. It's getting hectic. It's getting crazy. And then on May 1st, the Rayo Disney Music Awards is going to be coming on. So I'm going to be doing a review on that, guys. So thanks for watching this review. Like, share, subscribe, and comment your thoughts on these episodes so far. If you like the show, if you don't like it, and what do you like about it? So thanks for watching since everybody knows since to the cast. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Go check out our videos.